Okay, so what we're going to take a look at is uh, three-tiered side bending and um, the proper way to carry the weight and the proper place to put the stress so that we don't result with strain on the spine, right? So we're looking at cervical spine, thoracic spine, and lumbar spine, okay? And it's different types of lateral hinging properties or rolling movements and <clears throat> what we're going to do is use a similar concept that the ancient Egyptians supposedly used when erecting the obelisks. Instead of using uh, manpower, insane amount of manpower, what they did was uh, you know, to pull the obelisk, a huge, huge, huge uh, pillared structure, <clears throat> what they did was uh, build sort of vaults of sand and they would pull the obelisk over the vault of sand and remove the sand underneath to allow the obelisk to fall then into place without using so much muscular effort. We're going to use a similar principle here at uh, the different levels of the spine. So first thing we're going to do is feet uh, slightly wider than shoulder width apart, soft knees, long spine, relaxed shoulders. And we're going to tilt our ear to our shoulder, letting gravity pull it down towards the side. Okay? We're not worried about too much what else is going on here. We're just looking to get ear to shoulder. Okay? We're not doing a yoga position, so we're not worried about counterpoints. Just relaxing ear to shoulder, <clears throat> keeping that spine still pretty erect underneath the C-spine. From here, instead of muscling it back to center before we switch, what we're going to do is soften the knee. So removing the structure underneath the C-spine, soften the knees, let it roll to center. And as we come up now, we're going to push off to the opposite side. Soften down, relax off. Soften down, relax off. So relaxing to the middle as we soften down, relaxing off to the side as we stand back up. Relaxing our breath, exhaling, not holding our breath. Right. So dropping ear to shoulder, just like that. When we move down to the T-spine, we're still relaxing the C-spine. So everything we just did still comes into play. We still do that. We're just now extending that side bending down a level as opposed to staying uh, tall or plumb or erect underneath the collarbone of the C-spine. We're going to, to pull and angle that side bend. Okay? So we'll let the neck drop to the side. As we soften down, we're going to now tilt here at the rib cage. Okay? In this case, my right side ribs are coming up left side is caving in like you're taking a kick or a shot or you're hanging over a railing, right? Totally floppy and ragdollish. Still staying pretty plumb and long underneath the rib cage, the sternum or the solar plexus. You'll see opposite shoulders raising up automatically, okay, just because I'm moving my structure, not because I'm lifting it, right? Opposite hand is, I don't want to say reaching down, but hanging down again because I'm removing the structure on this side here. We soften the knees a little bit deeper to come back to the middle before we tear off to the opposite side. So the rolling is coming from the ribcage. When we move down to the hips, what we're not looking to do, it's the same thing at every other level, uh, T-spine and the neck. We're not looking to push the hips off here. We're looking to roll them very salsa style, right? We go a little bit wider, sit a little bit deeper, okay? We're going to relax the head, ribcage, and now the angle, that pull or that sort of fulcrum, that posting point is through the hip, hanging very heavy here. We sit back to the middle. And then we're flopping over to the other side. But again, the weight is carried very much more so. You see it's a deeper squatting action. <sighs> Relaxing and very loose up top. And again, we're pitching out. We're pitching our tent, right, out through the hip. Not through the rib cage anymore. Or not through the neck, right? It's neck, rib cage, and then hip. So here... <sighs> we come back to the middle. So again, very relaxed. The muscular effort really is happening through the legs. It gets deeper and more intense through the legs as we get lower through the spine. As we move down in the tiering from C-spine to T-spine to L-spine, everything above it still continues and it's just more of this rolling angle. So give that a shot. 